Duke Energy has opened its doors and extended a helping hand. They want more veterans on the line. Who can argue with that? Every day, our service women and our military take giant leaps forward that pave the path for our next generation of heroes. Women have a larger presence in our military today than ever before. I was in sixth grade when I declared to my parents that I was going to go to uh, not only the military, but I was going to go to one of the military academies. I was accepted to West Point, and the ratio was 10 to 1 at the uh, military academy as far as men to women. After graduating from West Point Military Academy, Colonel Christina Moore worked her way up to become commander of the 130th Brigade. I've got a military police battalion. I've got a, a 690th, which is a BSB, a support battalion. And I've got two engineer battalions, uh, which both have combat and uh, construction uh, forces. I'm the first female uh, to be the commander of that unit, so it's pretty exciting. With four battalions comprised of 3,000 soldiers, one would think it would end there. That's what I call my uh, part-time job. My, uh, my day job is working at Duke. As one of the largest electric power holding companies in the United States, Duke Energy provides electricity to over 7 million customers in six states. Duke um, is very purpose driven and so we power the lives of our communities and so a lot of military individuals, whether transitioning or active reservists, have that same mission and so it fits very nicely into our culture at Duke. Duke Energy has the annual goal of hiring at least 14% of all new employees who have served in the military. Together we stand as an employee resource group where you get to meet individuals and spend time with them um, and get to know people within the company that also have military background. Our work with reservists and guardsmen is a huge reason why we're winning the Freedom Award from the Department of Defense. Yes, the Freedom Award is uh, offered once a year through a program or organization called ESGR, and it recognizes um, small, medium, and large businesses uh, that go out of their way to support our military. But working at Duke Energy is, is really not that much different than working on the military side. I'm, I'm an engineer branch officer, which is predominantly uh, male. The distinction that I'm a female is uh, no different than the distinction that somebody happens to, to be from Tennessee or from different backgrounds. The women at Duke Energy work in a variety of places. They can do jobs from line work all the way to engineering. With more than 200,000 women serving in the active duty military, women are challenging traditional gender stereotypes in the workplace. Females may not consider utility right out the gates, um, but it is something where we have a female CEO and her vision drives innovation. I don't feel that I'm looked at as a female in a utility. I'm looked at as a employee uh, that does a great job in a utility, just like I'm a soldier, uh, you know, in the Army. I would want a veteran to know that Duke Energy cares. We appreciate your time spent in the military and we want to use the learnings from your past to help drive Duke Energy forward.